Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I wanted to make a tutorial about uh, this little animation that I did with the uh, animator's toolkit. Uh, probably gonna be a quick one for you guys. So uh, if you haven't tried the plugin out, you should definitely check it out. Uh, so we're gonna use a little bit of ray fire as well for this, uh, uh, for the floor. You can use uh, any type of physics if you wish. I just like uh, ray fire, simple. And it costs twenty-five dollars. And there's a light version. Not sure what the, the limitation are. But let's get started. Uh, I will be using uh, Yoki Martinez plugin uh, where we can build Legos easily and uh, you can download that on his site as well uh, let's see we're gonna snap this so uh, I turn on snapping whoops and s make sure that it's a good size I know it's 10 It'll be perfect, and I believe it's 25. So perfect there to the grid. Yep, perfecto. Let's see. Let's make a number two. Let's see, we're gonna first create our animation here. Well, first we need to build it up. And it's basically just, I'm holding down shift and dragging. That will create a copy. And let's see. See if we can make a decent number two here. What am I doing? And one more. Should we be fine with that? Yeah. I think it's okay. We can see it's the number two. Maybe we should have another one. Whoops, turn on snapping again. Yeah. And now I kind of screwed myself over here. Let's see if, whatever, we, we can align this later. Something like so. <coughs> so, now, Let's create our dummy object, which is going to be uh, what we're going to animate with. I'm just going to create, you can create whatever. I have a box. Let's first make it invisible. If we look at animation, so it comes from nowhere and falls down. I will actually just collapse this and attach this so this is now one one object and um, let's uh, animate yes turn on auto key I'm first gonna make it invisible go to frame <coughs> uh, one make it visible goes from invisible to visible perfect now we want it to start and end at the same place that's important so let's move it up here so it, well we actually need that needs to be here so it kind of starts here but we needed to have it down here as well 
otherwise it's not going to be placed where we have our number two here and let's have it fall down to 15 lower this boo boo let's make a, a little bounce well you know what I'm going to do first I'm actually going to rotate it a little bit so now it starts a little bent and comes down a few frames and make a bounce zoom okay so it's well maybe it's bounce too much let's just have two one bounce that's good enough let's go to the curve editor so we can fix this take these and uh, do a auto tangent tangents I wanted to slowly start, so go from slow to fast. Holding down shift, we're just gonna break our tangents or Bessier handles, I suppose it's called. So we're gonna have something like so, like that. Let's see, such a small screen space. So let's be fine with that. Now let's start up animation toolkit. So here's all the controls. We can copy keyframes and tell when the uh, when the animation is gonna start, and we can we can copy uh, modifiers onto uh, hundreds of objects and create all different cool effects. And here, same thing, but we can create little like small systems. So we can just you know, you can create a system and then you can save that out and you can just select, you know, if you want to do this animation onto something else, you don't have to recreate it. You can just use your own little build system and uh, let it rip. So what we want to do is we want to copy keys. going to select our dummy object because that's... Uh, the one that has all the animation we probably want to let's just add this in the middle like so well it doesn't matter right now um, and after that we want to use a shift and that's gonna offset our animation so uh, let's just try this out so I need to select these we could create a that we could like have a deselect ob all objects and have then select by list like so we have our layers yes the scene like so and now with that it's gonna first run this so it's gonna deselect everything just in case, then it's gonna select these predefined objects that we have here. Then it's gonna copy the keys, and then it's gonna do our little offset. But let's just do one by one for now. I'm gonna run it. As you can see, it has the animation. Cool. And now we need to offset this. So I click here. We can, I have this, uh, let's see. So I'm gonna select, I believe it's this little guy and we can then pick which one to start. So this, as you can see on the gradient, yellow to red. So it's gonna start here, boop, 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 and go up. Cool. And let's just do 12 by 12. I think that's okay. And we're gonna run it. 
and now we have our animation. That's super easy. I mean, come on, that's couldn't be easier. And now we have this little system. So if you want to do this on uh, something else, you can do that. Of course, we could perhaps skip this one. And I mean, we don't really need it. Just make sure you actually select the objects that you want to, you know, copy keys to. Now, when we have that done, we can actually remove this and start up, uh, do our, this kind of animation or physics stuff. Let me just let it rip. Cool. So let's create the floor, the Lego floor. Same thing. We want to go to our Lego, create the floor. Whoops. And let's do 15 by 15, like so. This needs to be smaller and 1.25 like we had before. That way it kind of matches, I think. Matches there. And it matches here. Perfect. Now let's, I'm also going to affect pivot center. So it's center of the object. Now we're gonna make the initial push. Let's start it off here. We can do local like that. Auto key on. Let's say frame two, five, I mean. So now we have that initial push and also a little bit of rotation. Sweet. Let's go for our ray fire. Our lovely ray fire. Just add our floor in and I adjusted the friction so it doesn't glide. Maybe you want that. Let's just check. Okay, fine. What I did also, start frame four. Okay, if I have this at, let's say six, this is how it's gonna be. Oh, it actually works. That's weird. I thought it wouldn't. But, you know, four seems to be a good value. So let's bake it. Stop it there. Now we have our keyframes. And let's see when it stops. Let it rest. There, I can remove these. And what I'm going to do, well, first we can rotate it. So, turn on snap, off mode, move it into place, like so, perfect. So what I'm going to do now first, I'm going to move this Bring it up, so I want it to start like there. So and if you if you don't have this scaling tool, like with this we can like scale, make it faster, slower, very simple. Just right click, configure, and show selection range. It should always be there. It's a good thing to have. Like so. What I'm gonna do as well, we're gonna <clears throat> animate the rotation of it. So let's just create a point helper. And I'm going to, with the Align tool, just click on where I want it to align to. Center, center. And let's do a Select and Link. Click on our floor and link it. And what I also want to do is I want to link these guys. 
and deselect this and do the same thing. I want to link these to that. Now if I rotate this, it's going to follow. Great. Or perhaps, well, we're going to undo that. See, no? First, I want to make sure we want it to come from the correct place, like there. Now I'm just going to wow, you can't even see it there. Position it correctly. So, perfect. Now, I'm just going to take these, deselect that again. Now, it should be fine. Great. So, now what I did was I just basically just animated this. Sixteen. Oh, of course, auto key on. It's a good thing. If you're gonna animate, and perhaps we don't want it to start there. Really fast. You can turn on auto key. And we can go to our graph. Hold that. We can, if you hold down Control and Alt and middle click, we can squish, squish this. We can click on. Uh, let's see where uh, there. Click these to kind of frame it. Maybe we need to do that. Well, kind of frames it. And let's do add these some some Bessier handles. And if it's too fast, you can we can always kind of adjust this. Maybe we want to have want it to go fast. That's perhaps better. wish so that is pretty much it for this tutorial uh, the lighting it's it's a uh, infinite floor I have a tutorial on that and just a couple of lights uh, really nothing fancy um, so yeah that's uh, this animators toolkit there's lots of it there's even uh, there's a really good uh, camera rig as well which is pretty cool you get some uh, shakiness and uh, you can do some really nice uh, camera animation without actually using keyframes and stuff like that so that's uh, that alone is worth $25 really so uh, definitely check it out I'm gonna leave a link in the under the video wherever you are watching this so uh, yeah hope you uh, well hope you check out the plugin after you've uh, watched this amazing tutorial. <laughs> uh, see you next time.